Welcome this week's Bushel Up. Uh, coming to you from Aurora here. We did catch a nice little shower over the weekend shortly after I shut my pivot off, of course, but uh, that's kind of been the nature of the spring. Uh, a lot of rain, a lot of spotty showers. Uh, all the fog day guys are spiking their football, saying they were right. They warned us. Uh, Jacob Oski, I'm talking to you, but uh, for those of you planting, uh, hang in there. Uh, like I talked about last week, we still have another week or two before we have to overreact. Uh, change hybrids, worry about yield potential. We're still in a good window, uh, especially when you look at the upcoming GDUs. So, you know, plant when conditions are right. You know, we, we had to wait an extra day last week. I could be finished, but unfortunately, uh, you know, the rain hit Hastings. Hastings all of a sudden is a magnet for rain, and, and we still have a, about a day and a half of plant left to go. Uh, but I do want to turn our focus. Uh, that early planted stuff's out of the ground. I see some two leaf uh, corn. Uh, some soybeans, you know, we, we got soybeans here that you can see, you know, initially when they come out of the ground, you got your cotyledons. Uh, one interesting fact about soybeans, they live off the cotyledons. That's their energy source until we start seeing these true leaves out, you know, roughly 10 to 12 days after emergence. So uh, once we see the true leaves out, you see the root development comparing to the two plants. So uh, this is a little starter trial. Uh, these are further ahead and now we got a good root system starting to go and that's when the plant uh, starts to transition. So uh, a lot of things are happening in small corn plants, small bean plants as they go from seed energy to root energy. And one of the things we need to be thinking about when we hit that 350 GDU mark, when we start hitting that two to three leaf stage is trying to enhance our yield. We have a couple tools in the toolbox. Uh, Realize is a PGR that can stimulate root growth, shoot growth. Uh, we want to develop as big of a root system as early as possible. That'll pay us back throughout the rest of the year. Uh, if we can get bigger leaves, if we can get more branching on our soybeans, all those things set us up for yield down the road. So uh, as we start thinking about these post herbicide or post applications, I know that seems a little funny because we're still trying to get some pre's done, uh, but be thinking about that. That's something we're gonna have to encounter here in the next seven to 10 days on some of these early planted fields. So. I want to put that in your uh, in your mind in your thought process. Uh, second thing is, what about these herbicides? We're all over the board uh, as far as our timing. Did we get burned down? Did we get pre's out ahead of planting or after? Uh, we're the same way at Owners Acres. We got all kinds of timing. We had some corn up before we got our pre on. Uh, sometimes we've been following the planters. So when you think about, it, we planted beans April 12th uh, up at David City. It's been 30 plus days. And we talk a lot about, you know, trying to time those off the calendar, not off of weeds. Uh, every field I planted last week, we've got a lot of weed pressure coming. Uh, we've got moisture, we've got heat. And so we need to make sure if we're still putting our pre's on to, to add a little kicker, make sure we're getting the weeds that are up. Uh, for those of you guys looking to bring back uh, your second application, those will be upon us here in a, in a you know, we talk about 25 days being the magic number. Uh, we're there on some of these fields. So uh, be thinking about that, you know, we have an opportunity to enhance yield and push this crop. I know we still got some crop to get in the ground. Uh, it's going to be one of those years where you have to take field by field. Um, you know, most of the emergence I'm seeing is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, but if you have a field that's struggling, uh, treat it accordingly. You know, um, I still think our yield potential is good. Uh, it's nice to see a rally in the markets, but again, keep doing your part. Make sure we're doing everything as, as timely as possible. We can't push the envelope. I, like I said, I held off planting a day just to get conditions right. Uh, I wish I was done. I parked the planter and I'm on to the next thing, but we still have some planting to do. Um, it's okay. Hang in there and uh, we'll talk to you next week.